Hello everyone and welcome back to Atari Vault. We are playing through each one of these alphabetically. Next one up is Super Breakout. Um, how this differs from regular Breakout? I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at the gallery here. and I'm going to turn down my headphones because oh my god. I was playing another game, it was super quiet, and then we get this one which is super loud. There we go, okay. Much better for me, much better for you, because now I don't feel like I need to yell. All right, so um, I'm kind of confused by the prisoner motif here. Is that actually what we're role playing as? We're trying to break out of prison? I did not even realize there was like a story behind Breakout. Okay, three new player selectable breakout games. Really, Double Breakout has two balls, two paddles for double the action. That sounds like a logistical nightmare, but okay. Cavity Breakout has two extra captured balls that can be released, allowing up to three balls to be going at once. All right. I mean, I played Shatter. You guys haven't played Shatter. You should totally play Shatter. It's basically Sideways Breakout, I guess is what I would describe it as. And Progressive Breakout has multiple walls of bricks that fall continuously, challenging players to break out many times. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, all right. So that's the thing. Built in reliably equals longer earnings. This is clearly to the arcade owner crowd here. Um, nothing else here, right? Four languages. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you care about that, I suppose that's a good thing. Though, does it matter? I mean, it's just start, right? Do you really need to make that in different languages? I don't know. Maybe. And then we're back to this. Okay, so that was minimalistic but the game is kind of minimalistic i mean it's not as minimalistic as pong but i mean essentially it's a, it's basically pong right okay so let's go ahead and start at this i don't think we actually have an option to start different types let me i was just gonna check here to see maybe if there's like oh yeah there we go you can do cavity progressive or double so i'm guessing cavity is normal so let's do normal first We'll do the other ones, too, because, you know, I'm like that. Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So, anytime you're ready, buddy, I can just go back and forth. And remember, I'm bad. I mean, you saw me play Pong, right? So, you know, this shouldn't be a surprise. I am kind of surprised that the balls apparently has some kind of variable momentum thing going on here. Oh, and I'm bad. Okay. I'm also wondering if maybe the mouse is the way to go. And you were just blinking at me like, what the hell was that? Aim for the frickin' paddle, you frickin' frick a frack. You frickin' fr Yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I said. I said frick a frack. I'm pressing the button, dude. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Okay, see, most games of Breakout aim the ball for the paddle. This one totally doesn't. I'm gonna try the mouse. Just because I think it might be better. Um, That is not what I wanted to do there. Huh, mouse doesn't seem to work. <laughs> oh, am I really this bad? And now that I've clicked away, the, um, yeah, the gamepad's not working either. That's, that's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> and by fantastic, I mean awful. Um, all right, so we'll go to controls here. Keyboard and mouse, we have one and two, of course, the one player, two player, and then left and right. Okay, and then mouse... You can serve ball with the left button, mode select with the right button. Really, you can change modes inside the game. I did not expect that. Okay. Can we do mode select here too? Mode select is a thing. That's return. Serve ball is space. Okay. Okay. Let's try the keyboard. Because why the hell not? So one player start. Here we go. Oh, shit, man. We got ourselves double duty here. Better for worse. Let's go. Oh, no. And I failed miserably even at double duty. Okay, you're going to do it again? I'm pressing the space bar, so you should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay. I did not expect the world's hardest game in the world to happen like this. Um, okay, we lost one ball. That's okay, because we have the other one. Do we get another one back? We should totally get another one back if we score enough points. Just saying. The double duty here is actually the double paddle rather makes this a little bit easier 
Uh, I said a little bit, didn't I? I meant it. I meant a tiny little itsy bitsy bit. Go ahead and serve me up another ball, dude. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is hectic. But like I said, I played Shatter. I've done this shit before. And like Shatter, I'm usually reduced to one ball. It happens. Um, I also don't see a point counter. Oh, no, there it is. Down at the bottom. Okay, I see you. Okay. Um, I just hit space bar to try to serve me another ball, and it totally didn't work. So that's totally not something you can do. Okay, that was lucky. This is why we need a second paddle, because I'm bad. That was it, huh? Okay, let's try that again. One player start. I should probably do, like, mode select. Um... I mean, yeah, sure, we'll do this one. Uh, yeah, just resume. Do it. Do it! Give me the ball! Oh, that was bullshit! <laughs> the hell? The actual hell? You think it's gonna go to the same spot? I think it is. Where's it gonna go? Okay. Didn't quite go to the same spot. Still total bullshit, though. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Saying that to a ball that basically has no other choice. And I'm just bad. Okay, one more ball. One more ball. I think this is the last one. Oh, that was super close, man. You're supposed to aim the first ball to the paddle. It doesn't matter where the other ones go. That's up to skill. But just throwing the ball towards the towards the end zone there, whatever the hell you want to call it, that's cheating. We can't even get the other balls out, man. It's going to happen, though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get those other balls out. They're going to be mine. I will get to the orange land. It's going to happen. We're going to get past green land. We're going to go to orange land. It's going to be delicious. Full of delicious oranges. And what are the greens, then? The greens are the vegetables you have to get to before you're allowed to eat the oranges. My parents were always like that. Mainly because, I mean, I have a sweet tooth like crazy. Oh, that, was, that sucked. So... I mean, I would always go for the fruit. There was a time when I was a very little baby. Well, not really a baby, but you know what I mean. I was young. Young enough to not know any better, you know? And I went through a strawberry field and just picked the hell out of that field. Oh, that was so close. Tried to cheat me out of my win, huh? I mean, it wouldn't be really a win, but you know what I mean. Um, but um, yeah, I just worked my way straight through the strawberry field. I was fine, man. I did not suffer in the least for that. Well, I mean, my parents might have. So I'm pretty sure that strawberry field own, was owned by somebody. And that somebody was not my parents. So, I mean, I'm sure they had to pay for all the strawberries I ate. But I didn't have to. So really, that's that's what was critical for me there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I will always eat fruit first before I eat my vegetables. Uh, that's just a general rule. Now, what's a fruit and what's a vegetable? Well, that's a tricky subject. I mean, technically speaking, everything that grows is a vegetable because vegetable is actually a variation of the word vegetation. So, you know, apples is a vegetable, technically speaking. It's actually vegetation, but that's the root word. Um, but, I mean, fruit's supposed to be anything that has the seeds, contains the seeds, is that it? Something like that. Dude, don't even, man. We're almost orange land. We've almost eaten all our vegetables. We're going to move on to orange land. That was kind of bullshit, though. Can you only destroy one block at a time? Is that what's going on here? You can destroy one block. You can't do, like, multiples. I could have sworn we've done multiples here, but it's every time you get close to doing multiples, it, like, the ball changes color and goes away. Did I lose out? No, no, no. We're still good. I have another last, last ball. Oh! It actually aimed for my paddle that time. I didn't expect that to work. Okay, we're to eat our vegetables again, man. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> Don't do that, man. Jiminy freaking Christmas on a freaking pogo stick and a half. What programmer decided that was okay just to drop the ball anywhere you damn well please? That does not sound like a fair trade to me, sir. Or madam. I guess it could be either. Oh, no, I'm just bad. I mean, you've seen me play Pong. It's basically, I mean, I'm playing Pong against a stationary target, and I'm still losing. I mean, this is how bad this is. Okay, come in here, man. Just just take your time. You might think you're in a hurry. You're not. You got all the time in the world. You know what an automatic, um, that automatic AI, that's what I'm going for here. The, you know what the AI would do? 
AI would follow the ball along its path here. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Maybe. Um, actually, yes, that would totally do it here. You don't want to test anticipate in this case. Anticipation doesn't work when you're just, you know, it's a solo game. You're not versus anything. I should totally have... Okay, can I move this along? Okay. Now, see, with the mouse, I can go, like, crazy. Let's see how crazy we can get this. Yeah, man. Not gonna stop me. Okay, just follow the ball, dude. Don't even try to do anything fancy. Just follow the ball. Yeah, see, when I'm actually using the mouse, I can do it pretty well. Um, that was questionable. Does the, is the ball actually increasing in speed here for no good reason? Okay, it's gonna bounce. Good, we're good. Are we actually can get through Greentown? Yeah, see, not being able to take out multiple bricks, that's just like, it's a time waster, dude. There's no reason not to allow me to take out multiple bricks. But for some reason, you're against it, and that actually got to me distracted as I was looking at the bricks and not at the ball. Oh, what the hell did that, was that? What the hell, what the actual hell was that? Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Okay, we're gonna do this. We do it with the mouse all the way. Because apparently I'm better with the mouse. Which makes sense. I mean, mouse acceleration is probably a little too fast for this game. Oh, yeah. He says, and then loses immediately. Oh, you actually aim for my paddle. What the hell? What kind of sorcery is this? You actually tried to give me, like, a fighting chance there, and I totally fucked it up. I mean, I realized that was totally my bad. But still, you know, totally fucked it up. Yeah, see, not being able... Okay, at least most modern breakout games realize that's a mistake, right? I mean, you have to... You have to be able to to do multiple ricks at once. Otherwise, you know, where's the, where's the fun in that? Okay, actually aim for my paddle. I'm wondering if it maybe it detected wrong? Or maybe that's where my mouse was, and it was totally going for my mouse every time. It's like there's a mouse detection? That would actually kind of make sense. A little bit. Oh, that totally didn't work. Okay, try me again. I'm good. Good to go. Okay, so much for the mouse detection, because that totally wasn't it. Because that was not where my paddle was. So now I think it's just random. And it just happens to line up occasionally. And so then I think it's on purpose. We're almost Orange Town, man. Yeah, man, get to Orange Town. We have multiple walls now. Okay, we lost one, but that's okay. We don't need that one. We totally needed that one, though. We lost both of them. I'm pretty sure we only get one back. Am I right? I'm right. Okay. We're in Orange Town, though. I appreciate Orange Town. I think we're actually going to break, like, an entire thing of bricks. It could happen. You wouldn't think this game would actually be that hard. And you're probably right. I mean, it could be I'm just bad. But, I mean, the bouncing back and forth here is super easy, and I probably should have kept that up. Oh, okay, we're back in Greentown again. That's okay. As long as I can keep it moving off to the side like this. I mean, it takes a long time, but it's safe. Whereas if I do that, there's a danger that I will totally fuck it up. And it's gonna happen, unless I score really well. I would guess 100 points get to another ball? I don't actually know that. That's probably a setting. But it hasn't actually happened yet. I mean, we're nowhere near 100. I mean, we're near it. In the same way that, you know, Tokyo is near San Francisco. Oh, I missed the second ball. Okay, but at least I got them both free. That's progress of a sort. I'll take it. I suppose I should try out the other modes, huh? We will do that. Oh, man. Don't even right now, okay? Didn't even see where the ball was. I just naturally expect, if I'm breaking, playing breakout, the freaking ball should go towards my paddle. Or at least emanate from my paddle. You know? That's the way Shatter does it. Shatter has, actually has the ball coming from your paddle. So at least you can aim, like that initial shot, which can be key in Shatter. Um, I might actually do a light the candle episode of Shatter, because it's actually a pretty cool game. Um, a little bit trippy in terms of graphic. Not as trippy... Well, I was going to say, not as trippy as um, as Space Duel, but that's actually totally unfair. Um, to both Space Duel and to Shatter. I mean, Shatter looks like a pretty good game, but basically it's it's Breakout laid on its side. Um, not always 90 degree angle. Usually, um, usually it is. 
but it can be oh man that was just that was just a clutch bounce i just did was not reacting fast enough for that okay we actually gonna break one of these guys out and then we're gonna lose about that ball immediately because that's apparently the way i play i mean it's possible i can keep these things in the air i'm gonna bat at juggling too so oh well that was just bad okay tell you what we're gonna go and start the other type i mean the multiple paddles thing seems pretty cool so there's cavity progressive is it moving down right all right we can play progressive mode see what that does oh this is trippy why did it change colors on me all right let's go in here and see what happens release the ball okay so apparently i'm really confused on what's happening on the side here and i'm so distracted by it that i lost the ball it's only on the right side though not on the left how does that work is that supposed to like be indicating yeah it doesn't show anything on the left side so like when i make a complete line then we get the progressive line is that how that works or i'm confused what this means okay yeah yeah something's going down going downtown of course that's going to be a problem when it gets further down but right now it's okay i mean i guess what they're trying to do is like an, a space invaders type of thing here oh that was just bad where it gradually approaches you and then you obviously that increases the rate of fire maybe i don't know but i'm making shit up we at least took care of the first row first row is taken care of which means i expect this to go back down again oh except i'm bad and i'm apparently will never get to the next level here all right let's try that again oh no see um not aimed at my paddle. That's all right. Just, just resume. It's fine. I was going to restart, but then I figured, what the hell. Eat, earn my mistakes, right? Or just eat my mistakes? Own up to my mistakes? Something about my mistakes and possibly taking ownership of them? Okay. So, at least I'm doing slightly better with the mouse. So it just says something. I don't know what it says, but it doesn't say anything good. All right. And it's kind of surprising how fast the ball moves for how, um, I was going to say how unpowerful, how basically how weak, how slow. I mean, I always imagined computers this era being incredibly slow. I mean, if you tried to do like the equivalent of a Google search with one of the old computers, it would take you, I don't know, a couple hours to actually make that work. I can't believe that worked. Um, so, you know, I mean, you've got to expect a little bit of problem here, but no, the, the ball just moves super fast. All right. Oh, we actually made it kind of sort of out. Let's try that again. Oh, dude. I hate that so much. Aim for the paddle. Aim for the freaking paddle. Okay. I realize you're starting the ball up far, far enough that I should be able to react but nevertheless, it puts me an instant disadvantage. Puts me instantly on the defensive. And maybe that's how I'm supposed to play anyway. Maybe it's just supposed to be like a lesson there. Just instantly go on the defensive. Don't even don't even try to think that you're in control here. Because the ball is the one to control. You're just a facilitator for the ball. It's like the theory about water, you know? People were evolved from water. No. Water evolved. Water created people in order to facilitate movement uphill. That's what it is. I mean, it's stupid, but it's a joke. You know, it's not supposed to be true. This is moving down further than I thought it would. Is it like every time I touch the... Every time I make a brick go away, it slowly reduces... I mean, that can't that can't be true, right? Was I not making a brick go away every time before? I'm pretty sure I was, because it was coming back to me. And the only time it comes back to me is if it hits a brick. Am I ever going to get to that second level? It's my goal, man. I have goals in my life. Um, this is currently one of them. Being decent at breakouts so that I'm not an embarrassment to my friends and family. That that would also be a goal of mine. Yes, that, that's that's what happens. We all sit around the campfire. The campfire, yes. That's what we do. Is we sit around the campfire and we um, compare e basically, is what that comes down to. How good are you at video games? Well, 
I only scored a 48 in breakout today. Oh, well, okay. It looks like you're ostracized today, Peace. I'm sorry, but um, you don't get any dinner, nor do you get dessert. And really, you know, that's just insult to injury. You probably should have said that in reverse order. Don't get dessert or dinner. But no, you've decided to just go for the heart-wrenching move there. Okay, sure. I mean, I guess I just don't eat today. Because I can't score above 48 in breakout. And really, I mean, a three-digit score would be respectable. But no, I mean, I can't even do that. 53, okay. That that that's at least earns me maybe uh, a side dish. Oh, oh, you actually did two bricks. I was so thrown off I let the ball go away. I might get a side dish. It might happen. Um, entree would require at least a three-digit score, though. Are we going to be able to make it? So, okay, apparently there's a break. Oh, shit. No, no, it actually went too fast. I did not get a three-digit score there. Did it go faster when it hit the... Okay, see, it's not going faster when it hits the top one. At least not for the... The attract mode, anyway. I have no idea. I also don't know why the lines on the side have decided to show up, like, full-time now. I don't know why it's only on the right side and not on the left. That's also puzzling me. Probably shouldn't be too distracted by it, though, because, you know... I want to be able to eat today. That'd be nice. Otherwise, I'll just be ostracized by my family forever. That could also be true. Come on. Three-digit score. That's all I'm going for here. That's all I want. Okay, you throwing the ball away like that, not helping. Not helping in the least. All right, good. Bounce around. Do your thing. I'm good. You're good. We're all good here in the neighborhood. Here in the dirty down low of the neighborhood. Also not taking out multiple ball, multiple bricks there. Just makes this take longer. Also reduces my score, but that's, you know, a side issue. Because, you know, I've decided not to eat today. I found out that um, it's actually going to be something disgusting. Like, um, I don't know. Man. I can't even think of like disgusting food right now. I usually don't eat disgusting foods if I can avoid it. And my mom never made anything disgusting I can think about. Um, nothing comes to mind. What would be absolutely disgusting? Um, Brussels sprouts that have been boiled all to hell. Basically, is the only thing I can think of. I mean, Brussels sprouts in general, I'm not a big fan of. Well, that was just horrible. Just thinking about Brussels sprouts right there just threw me off my game. That's my excuse there. Also, that, what the actual hell was that? Reset. Read the fucking set because you're bad and, um, this is not... This is progressive. Yeah, this is progressive mood. Okay. Throw me a ball, man. Throw me at throw at the freaking paddle. Also, maybe I'm crazy. But I could have sworn when I played breakout, the paddle was bigger. Or was it adjustable? Am I making that up? I, I mean, I've played so many versions of breakout that now I'm, like, conflating them all in my head. There's, like, one where you change the size of the paddle... One where, um, one where it's like a tower defense game and you got to protect, you got to make sure the ball never hits the other side. Um, otherwise it doesn't, I mean, it still bounces away, so it doesn't actually end the game, but it like, it, um, reduces your score. Like it hits your score. Like it hits your score. I'm not sure it actually hits your score. Um, but that's like an endless casual version of Breakout, where you can never actually... I mean, you lose when you hit zero score, but also breaking a brick gives you, like, plus ten points, and making the ball go away is, like, minus five, so really, you're always ahead of the game. But people can still tell how bad you are, because, you know, your score is, like, um, a multiple of five instead of a multiple of ten. Or something like that. No, it's like, um... No, it takes away one point... Every time the ball went away, went to the other side. But it was plus, like, five points. Oh, see, there you go. Multiple ball hits. Yeah, that's it. That's the money maker right there. I got my entree today, boys. Oh, except I just lost it there. <laughs> still, though. Still, though. Three-digit score. I mean, that's still awful. Most scores are measured in the thousands. But still freaking take it. Okay, so that's progressive mode. Let's go ahead and play the other mode here. So progressive, and then double. Let's do some double. 
some double action in here. I'm still totally going to use the mouse because that's how that works. Um, yeah, here we go. Double mode. Also, what happened to the colors? As soon as I went into options, all the colors went away. I do not like that at all. Okay, now all of a sudden the lines are back. I don't get that at all. Also, apparently I can't control two balls at once. It just doesn't happen in my head. My head's like, nope, not going to do it. Oh, see, that just, that was bad. At least it doesn't bounce off the underside of the paddle. I appreciate that. That would just be like hell on earth right there. But yeah, just not able to keep two balls in the air. For some reason. I mean, I've seen problem with juggling. I cannot juggle more than two things. Actually, I can't even juggle two things. And really, that's not even juggling. That's just throwing one thing up in the air repeatedly. There's an old juggler's joke that um, you need to be using one less hand than the objects, the number of objects you're juggling. That was just bad. So where's, where's my color? Where's my color at? Is that like a main menu option? Did I just select something and I totally destroyed it? We're turning, we don't have scan lines off. Okay. Double? Maybe like there's six selections here. There's actually like a color double and a black and white double. I don't know, man. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hit play here and we'll see if that works. Yeah, that might have actually been it. There's totally six selections there. They just don't tell you. Okay, and more bullshit from the bullshit squad here. Oh, uh, dude. Okay, for a little while we had two balls going, but I didn't want to say anything because I knew it would jinx it. I knew it would, and sure enough, sure enough. Okay, that was a near miss. But you know what near miss is? It's a hit. Okay, that 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 wasn't a hit though. That that was totally bad. Wow. Um. So yeah, this is breakout. <laughs> I'm bad at it, apparently. Um, apparently, if I don't focus too much, then we're fine. But if I start focusing, we're just screwed. So the idea is not to focus on anything. Just let the ball be the ball. We totally lost the second one there. Just fine. I mean, really, we just have, you know... We have six to go on here. Oh, what the actual hell. It's speeding up. It's too fast. <laughs> that was just... Why was it going super fast like that? I have no idea. Oh, that was just horrible. Okay, one more time. One more game. One more game of doubles here. We're going to actually get to Orange Town. It could happen. Anything could happen. If you send them like along similar trajectories, it could actually be really good for you. Or send them along like trajectories where they could miss each other. Also bad. Um, or also possibly good is what I meant to say there. Also, how do you hit the the brick inside in like a corner? How does that even work? You want to go ahead and give me that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of like stagger them off like that. Kind of worked. Didn't really work at all. No, nope, nope. There's got to be a... Okay, I keep hitting one because I want to play single player. And that is not the... Uh... Oh, I just lost the other ball entirely. Just first play out. Okay, are we at least going to hit Orange Town? That's all I really want from life. And I was going to hope for a three-digit score, but let's not be crazy, because the ball's going to go nuts. What is with this super fast ball? It's got to be hitting Orange Town, right? That's got to be why it's going fast? Maybe. Okay, well, then I got to be prepped for that, right? I mean, that's just part of the game. Oh, I'm just, just bad. I'm just Come on. I can move this fast, there's no excuse, right? There's no excuse. There might be a tiny bit of excuse because I'm bad. Where I would like to I would like the ball, please. Could you could you give me the ball? Um that's bullshit. And where's the second one? <laughs> Apparently the only, the other one only shows up once you hit the first ball. Which I did not realize. Oh that's just horrible. That's just horrible. Deplorable living. Um, you know, I don't play one more time. I want to get, I want a three digit score. It's, it's got to happen sooner or later. One of these years. Um, apparently not this year though. Yeah, this might be a game that takes, um, you know, 60 years to master because I'm bad. I'm awful. I'm horrible. It happens. But I mean, we've, we've enjoyed our time together, right? 
break out? You're gonna, you gonna give me a ball? What the actual hell, though? Give me a ball on the opposite side of the screen? And that's just, that's just bullshit town is what that is. Okay, I can do this. Keep two in the air at all times. At all times, I said, at all, not, not, not at all times, apparently. What I would love and what Shatter does, and I keep comparing this to Shatter because it's basically modern breakout and it's pretty awesome. And you should play it, but only if you're good at this game. Because if you're not good at regular breakout, Shatter will, like, shatter your brain. Because you can have, like, as many balls as you want at, at a time, I think. No, maybe not as many as you want. But it's, like, up to five or something like that. I think it might be up to five. You can go pretty crazy. I just lost that ball immediately. Not even, like, a show of force at all. Okay, we're getting ready for some, like, accelerated movement here because it's going to happen. As soon as we hit Orange Town, it's going to go to shit. Yep, there we go. As soon as we hit Orange Town. Oh, yep. Okay. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, man. Okay, so that was Super Breakout. Um, in color and black and white because, you know, that's just how they roll. All right. That was Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.